Okay, and what we are going to do today is, what you can see is I had a dent here when I bought the car. The guy must have uh, did some abuse to this car, but anyway, uh, basically it has a dent and a scratch, and then it has like these two drip marks, which I was not able to take off with um, cleaner, with solvent, uh, with anything. So basically what I'm going to try and do right now is first use a polishing compound I'm sorry, a rubbing compound to see if I can take this off and if that doesn't work then I'm going to go to something a little stronger which is uh, grit 2000 sandpaper and sandpaper it off and then polish it and then wax it again and see if that works. Um, basically I want to try the less evasive thing first to see if this polish works and what I'm going to use is um, rubbing compound. Uh, Meguiar's and um, that's also it's, it's clear coat safe so I don't know if it's going to be enough to get this thing out because obviously it is embedded in a clear coat since I can't take it out with anything else so I'm going to give it a shot and we'll see how it goes okay so just put a little dab on and we'll see how it works see if it's since it's clear coat safe, I don't know if it's going to go down deep enough to take care of this little drip area here. Now what this drip is, is still a mystery to me. I'm not sure what it could possibly be. Um, maybe some sort of acid or something. Um, as you can see, it does look like it's taking some of the clear coat off because it does have like a little bit of a white kind of residue which usually gets when you use a 2000 sandpaper 2000 grit sandpaper it does have like that little uh, white coating which is basically the uh, clear coat coming off and I can see right from this it's not working all that well well yeah, it's working somewhat a little bit maybe if I apply a little more pressure get it to a little bit better finish. Let's see here. Mm, looks like it, oh, looks like it might have worked. Might have worked. Wow, that would be an easy fix if that was the case. It was just a matter of putting a little polishing compound and just buffing it out. Let's see. Hey, all right, it worked. That was quick. That was an easy fix. Incredible. Someone told me that I needed to sand this whole thing down and and oh, wow, all right. So what I'll do is I'll basically just put a polish on this and then um, that should clear it up. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to try and get this out too. I'm going to use a polish on that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but basically it's a scuff mark. And how that got there is a uh, quite intriguing too. Uh, Alright, let's see. I don't see it coming back. Looks pretty good. Alright, that's great. Fantastic. Alright, McGuire's. You get the thumbs up on that one. I don't know if people were able to see the drip marks, whatever they were. But, a little rubbing compound seems to have done the trick. Excellent. All right. Excellent. Next off, we're going to try and get that scuff mark off. 